Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, how are you? First of all, this is an adult channel and the videos in this, um, on this channel are made for adults and in no way, shape or form meant for or intended for children. Today we're going to be colouring in Cutesy Christmas Special, uh, which is a colouring heaven book and we're going to be using the Castle Art watercolours and I've also got, in case I need them, my W. Smith watercolours and I've got a clear Winkersella, in case I need that. So, we're going to colour, if I can find it, where are you hiding? Santa! So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna colour Santa. So let's get him all zoomed in, and we'll get out our colours and we'll start colouring in his face. Now this is a little bit grayscale. Now I have absolutely no idea how watercolour is going to work on this grayscale, but hey, we will soon find out. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, we'll just switch to normal pencils. It'll be okay. <laughs> but, you know, it's all about trying different things. So, how are you? Uh, we're all very well here. I've still got a bit of a sore throat. That's nearly gone. Bit of a cough. Cold sniffles. But, hey, it's not that bad anymore. It's getting better. So, I'm not too worried. It's more annoying than anything else. That's, that, that's the thing. Because I just don't... I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to sleep. I slept like 10 hours the other night. It was Thursday night, Friday. I went to bed and I went at quarter to eight. Jennifer was already asleep. I went at quarter to eight and half, to, half nine I woke up and went to the bathroom and then I went back to bed and then I woke up again at I want to say 20 to 2 around that time. Went to the bathroom, had a drink because I was a bit dry, you know. Went back to bed, straight back out, woke up when the alarm went off. So all I can say is I must have needed it. So I was tired this afternoon, had a bit of a doze. Jennifer was with Paul downstairs watching TV until she got fed up and then I went down. And I'm getting tired again now, but that's okay. I've been on running around after her, so of course I'm going to be tired. She is a very, very energetic little girl quite rightly and she should be so we're just going to have a bit of bit of a rosy cheek here a bit of red on his nose because you know it's cold outside it's christmas day santi's gonna have red face isn't he let's be honest that's that i'll find my i can't find the pipette i use for putting water in my water pen but there's still some in there so we should be okay and i, I can't get that back in so yeah, but it's fine, there's water in it. So I'm just gonna very gently now brush over. Oh, I'll put this under, hang on. That's better, so it's easier for me. Santa's face. Oh, too much water coming out there for some reason. Not sure why. So it's looking okay. Yeah, not sure why that came out so fast, but it's all right. I'll mop it up in a minute if I need to. I've also got some ordinary paintbrushes around somewhere yeah, it's just leaking out um where did that paintbrush go i just saw oh, there it is just that one. sorry if you see um anything you shouldn't get this paintbrush out if i can i've had this open oh it's a zip <laughs> and i just zipped it shut and i'm just gonna use it to mop up some of this water I'm not actually going to use it on the picture properly. Just, I just want to mop up. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I love using the watercolours. I don't use them enough. I will admit that. These aren't the best brushes. I need to get some really good ones, to be fair. Just get a piece of tissue paper to... Uh... Oh, excuse me. That's I buy old records. So that's his face. I'll do his hat next. I've got a couple of really nice reds. I've got, what have I got? I've got Signal Red and Vermilion. So Signal is the lighter, so I'll put that on first. So. Nice colours. So we'll see what it looks like afterwards. 
One of the reasons I got out the Wing Costella is to put some sparkle on his the fur on his hat rather than anything else. Um, for the last few days I've had a sale on eBay but I've got a return coming which is annoying but that's just par for the course it's business it happens it's not the end of the world I've just got to sort out a label for them um, I haven't listed anything I've got some stuff to list it's just I'm trying to get my laptop sorted out with everything on it and I, I haven't obviously yesterday I didn't do anything because I was so tired Monday I will be doing a bit more because I've got some time off from work um I got Friday and the following Monday off and I got some days over Christmas but I had a few hours over, in fact it was three hours and 22 minutes, I only worked four and a half so on Monday morning I'll drop Jennifer into nursery as normal because it's paid and um, then I, because we pay for it regardless whether she goes, unless they close obviously and then I shall come home, work my one hour and eight minutes and then I will uh, quit for the day and I'll either do eBay or I might make a video. Um, it depends on how I'm feeling. If I feel like doing eBay, I will crack on and do a load of photographs. I have got some photographs on my camera to go on, so I might try and get those up over the weekend. So that I can start listing again. And I'm just going to crack on with what I've got, to be honest. And hopefully we will see what happens now. I've got this um, vermilion here just to go in where the shading was. A bit on the edge there, a bit in there. As you can see that it's, it's there and here. I personally like using markers on grayscale. Oh, okay, this is the first time I've tried something like watercolours. I mean Have a sip of my drink. It's funny how quickly time goes when you're colouring and just generally chatting to people like I am at the moment. This seems to be leaking a lot of water, this brush at the moment. It's alright, but I think it's because it's nearly empty to be honest. But I do like the way that some of these pictures look if you watercolour them. Like the Sarah Kay pictures, I think they look absolutely fantastic with watercolours. Now this isn't as good because I think I've got too much water. I'll dry my brush off. and I'm just going to use this brush to spread it around a bit. the water around like so that's back it's a bit dry now so I can get it and take it into the bits that haven't been now this water this paper does buckle slightly it's not water colour paper but it still does generally look quite nice on it and of course you can do it again if I want that to go a bit redder when it dries because it might be a bit pink I can just put a bit more colour over it won't hurt Ooh. and again we'll do the same with his coat now and yes okay I'm doing your stereotypical red Santa and your red Father Christmas you know that I, that's the way I'm gonna go I'll admit it I, I quite like it Sorry, I'm just uh, sorting my TV out. I'm just going to turn this down and leave it play in the background. So it's a YouTuber called Mac Stevens and he his channel is called I Buy Old Records. And he um, buys old records and sells them. And the type of record he buys is 
rock and roll and rockabilly country western and he knows his stuff believe me this man knows his stuff he is very very good so I'll come down here now Now I have got some gold watercolours which I'm going to use on his bells and I've got silver which I'm going to use on the buckle and they're a different type of watercolour, they're actually um, the Mozart um, pans metallic pans, uh, we'll do them later Yeah, it looks alright actually. His face isn't very pink. I might go over the face again. It looks better on here, but then watercolour is supposed to look a bit like this. I want it to look vintage, so. And I find that watercolour does make things look vintagey, which is nice. And that, that's what I want. I want it to look vintagey. I mean, even his, his sack has got patches on it, so. So this will probably be just two episodes. I probably won't do a background. I might do a light. Um, you know, put some snow at his feet and some a bit of dark sky, maybe. But it's not going to be a major, major one. So I really like the Mozart paints. So I want to get this set, which is a set of half pans, which is all different ones. It's the metallics and the normal ones. I think it's eighteen ninety nine for the set. The metallic pans were nine ninety nine, and they are very nice. I've only used them on one picture so far, so I'm going to use them on here. And that was on a a colour in heaven uh, one. So let's get in here and do his arm. I like this. I love these pictures. I think they're lovely. So we have got the um, elves behaving badly one, which we'll just do one picture of him, one uh, colour and habit later on, maybe closer to Christmas. And um, because uh, we can, I think we can do that with markers in one, one go, to be honest. They're not, there are some complicated ones, but there are also some that aren't that complicated, so. I'm going to give this a bit of a sharp, I don't know if I find my sharp now, which is here, there it is. Yeah, I just thought I'd do a watercolour, a picture with all the watercolours for a change, because it, it, it's nice to use different mediums, you know, we use the markers and the pencils a lot. And as you know, I love my Black Widows and I use those all the time. But I really like mixing it up with the watercolours so. so in Wales pubs are not allowed to serve alcohol now until the 17th of December and then it'll be reviewed because they think that'll help bring down corona rates I, I can't see it myself because the pubs are so well the ones I've been in um sanitized and well uh, socially distance and maintained and run that I don't think it's public it's, it's necessary spending uh, spreading in pubs now I kind of get in a way the banning closing them at 6 p.m. because obviously the more you drink the more likely you are to ignore social distancing and become touchy and huggy because that's what alcohol can do I, I get that, but banning it entirely is just a bit Puritan. It's like going back to 1920s Prohibition area in the States. It's like, it's pointless. Because all that will happen is people will just go down to the spa, buy a load of cans um, before 10 o'clock, which is when they can't buy cans anymore. Because, of course, the supermarkets can still sell alcohol. 
take them back home and invite all their mates around and just have a party instead. That, that's what I think will happen. It's spreading more in schools than it is in pubs, to be fair. From what I gather, anyway. No, that one doesn't go in there. Where's that one? There is. So, yeah, it's a bit... Ooh, what do you do, you know? My local, when I say local, it's literally up the road. It's literally at the top of the hill. Is staying open, I think, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And they're doing their normal lunch menu, uh, which they always do, because they do do food. And so they'll be doing their normal lunch menu, along with uh, non-alcoholic drinks, tea and coffee, and then they're doing some mocktails. I really want to try them. And they're opening early for them, because normally they don't open until the afternoon since this lockdown thing. But they're going to be opening from 11 for tea, coffee, and bacon rolls and things. So that's cool. I mean, I have asked, do we have to book for bacon rolls or is it just a walk-in service? It, it, you know. Because for meals you do have to book, which is fine. I'll do his trousers afterwards. Um, I haven't done his trousers yet. Because I would like to, I do like to support them, you know. They're my local. We go up there a lot. We have a meal up there. We had a meal up there not long ago. It was absolutely amazing. And I think I took you with me. Um, me and Paul are going out on the 20th for... A Christmas lunch, four course Christmas lunch, £25. I am looking forward to that. Just me and Paul, mum and dad are having Jennifer. Because whenever we go out, it's either me, Paul and Jennifer, which is understandable. She's our daughter, she's the, supposed to be with us most of the time. Or there's my dad, or there's his friends, or somebody else. So we thought we'd just go out, just me and him, for a meal. Well, I thought and I booked it, so... He said, oh, I'll help pay for it. I don't mind that. I think he just thought it was a nice thing for me to arrange. So, looking forward to that. So, just make sure there's not too much water on there. No, nope. good. And, uh, well, I carry on for a bit longer. I, I'm liking the way he's looking. He's so cute, this Sandy. That's what Jennifer calls Santa. She calls him Sandy. Oh, that's better. There's not too much water coming out now. There, that's the one. That's much better. Oh, yes. So that's nice. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a nice meal, just me and Paul for a change. I mean, the last time we went out, just us two, was when we went to see the um, Manic Street Preachers, I think. That was, oh, well, she was only a few months old then. I think she was probably about six months. So... And his mother had it then. And then, of course, she had this time where she didn't, wasn't very keen on his mother, just because she didn't see her very often, because she used to live in Cardiff. But we see her a lot more often now, and now she's older. She plays with Sally all the time, and Sally loves it, so it's really nice. So we're going over there tomorrow. Well, that's today for you. We'll have been by the time you probably see this video, which is fine. Still getting to grips with my new laptop. Obviously, I didn't put it on last night because I was too tired and went to bed for 10 hours. Oh, Let's have a sip. Mm. Oh, I really love this little Santa. He's so cute. He really is adorable, isn't he? I think this year the Colour in Heaven books have been amazing. And from what I gather, the last one, which is the 23rd of December's issue, or 22nd, something like 23rd? 23rd. Wednesday 23rd is another amazing one from what people have said who've bought the annual i don't buy the annual because it's just the same pages that i've already got so and if i wanted to color that sort of thing again i just go and buy the artist's work um so but yeah it looks good from what i've seen because people are already coloring in the annual now that looks much better than his hat so i might redo his hat later See, that's that, and that's his hat. But that's okay, I can redo his hat when it dries. And, uh, yeah. And we'll do his legs in a bit. And that's getting a bit leaky again, I think. So I'm just going to wipe off the excess water. That's it. It's better. 
but it's when it's too much water it moves the paint around too much and so I am thinking of getting some watercolour pans and trying to paint with those rather than pencils not that I don't I don't like the pencils I love my pencils but just to try it like that you know and I know we use these water brushes and they they are great but I do find you can get too much water coming out of them if you're not careful like I wasn't at the beginning but that's okay it's repairable it's not the end of the world I'll hopefully fix it before we do the next issue the next episode of this particular picture we know when you're finished yet we're on 20 minutes so at least another 20 minutes I would have thought I've got the rest of his trousers to do yet yeah that looks much better I'll just wipe that off I've put the pencils away mind but uh, I missed his trousers they're not that big anyway I'll just do this one first well I should have started at the bottom and worked my way up because I'm left handed I'm trying not to put my hand in the paint now there we go And if you can hear Paul, he's talking to his friend. It's just he's always very loud when he's chatting like that. So bless his heart. I'll put my hand in that a little bit and I'll be careful. Okay. I might do another sand train, another book green because you can do him green. Yeah, I would say is I wish I wasn't left handed sometimes because I forget and I go down like left to right when I need to go right to left with something like this normal pencils it doesn't really matter I don't find it particularly smudge things so I can sort those that smudge out any time you want to and it was a vermilion I think it was this one wasn't it vermilion yes I'll just put a little bit here Around the top of his boots and up to his knees. I don't know, I think he's lovely. My Santa! Or is Jennifer calls him Santa? I don't know where she's got Santa from. Let's just do that. That's better. Let's cover up that smudge slightly. I'll put a bit more ink on that later. Pen on that later. I didn't think of using the ink tents, but I thought, no, let's use the watercolours. There we are. Nice. So when I finish this, I am going to watch some YouTube, because I want to watch the Bibliophile Colourist, because he's been doing one from Christmas Darlings by Kelly Horton. I love her books, I've got those. I just need to get the steampunk, darling. It's the only one I haven't got. I'm trying not to buy any more books. I've got so many. I'm actually running out of storage space. Right. The Jade Summer book is nearly completely full. Uh, Earth's Shelf is nearly full. But the... Um, there are really good browns in this set of watercolour. They're just boring ones. There's a yellow ochre, that might be alright actually. Let's just see what colour that comes out like. Oh, that's the one, that, that'll do for his sack. Okay, I have got my other ones as well. I've got my tin of W. Smith's ones as well, which has got some nice colours in. There's a nice colour in there for the squirrel. So I'll be using this, that for the squirrel. We'll just do his bag now. I'll do this bit. We're at 24 minutes, that is. His gloves, I don't know what colour to do yet. I'll do those in the next one when I've had a think about it. So. Mm-hmm. 
one which is called sepia to me sepia is more that color but there you go that's the photographer in me you see oh that's all right So far, and I'll just do this bit just to see how that colour looks. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they've done um, photographs of the nursery kids. Christmas oh they are so pretty so we'll be getting some of those to give to well there'll be one for us one for my mum and dad and one for Paul's mum just to see what happens I've got an itch um yeah and uh um yeah we'll just uh see what happens there with those they, they're really pretty we've got one that we got to get a frame of as it is but and she looks so sweet she does love having her photograph taken I'll admit that she loves you might have seen if you've seen her on um on the weekly vlog she loves being in it she loves posing she can see this it's when she can see herself in the um viewfinder in the L L L lcd screen she loves it she's so funny beautiful when she's asleep oh she looks so peaceful i think oh to be that age again how wonderful that would be you know, you've got no worries, but you know, everything is amazing, everything is new, everything is important. <laughs> so, you know, it's all important, it's all good. So, I've just had a message from my mechanic, he was supposed to come up and he, he forgot, but that's fine, that's okay. I haven't phoned my mum, I normally phone my mum as well. So, sorry about that. We're going to be stopping in a minute, so I'm going to ring my mum then. Um, only because the camera switches off at 30 minutes, so I'm going to take a five minute break. If I come back and do some more, I'll probably still be um, colouring in his sack, because there's a lot of sack. It's bulging with Christmas presents for us all. I, love, I do love using the watercolours. I really love them. I think they just look so nice. And this isn't going to take long to do. I probably won't do much more once I've done the sack. Because I want to let it dry. I need to repair the, the hat later. Well, that's not going to take long. I'm just going to need a quick layer over it with some more pencil. And then I'll um, do the rest of it, including the lovely little squirrel in the next issue. It's only literally going to be his gloves, his belt, his bell, his boots and the squirrel and the Winker Stella on his thing and, and a bit of colour on his beard which mostly will be white. I mean we're mostly just going to leave it the way it is because Santa's beard is white. So I'm loving it. I'm, I really like this book. I really like the watercolours. They're amazing. And this picture is really good. Okay, so I just uh, had five minutes. I don't know why I was having five minutes. Probably didn't do what I was going to. 
um, had a slip of drink, went to the bathroom because I needed to, and <laughs> I, bomb, I zoom bombed Paul's uh, chat with his mate because I know know this person, so it's fine. So that was funny. I spoke to my mum. That's what I was going to do, and I did. I always ring my mum in the evening, so I thought I'll give her a ring. They're all fine over there. Found out that Prince Wales is doing their, their, their bacon sandwiches. Um, you just turn up and, and order and they'll cook them on the spot, which is great. It means I can go pop in one day between 11 and 1, when they do start their lunch service. And uh, all we had and have a bacon sandwich. I like to support them if I can't eat a proper meal, a food meal. Because they clo have to close at six, so you have to be out. Then um, it's ridiculous if they're not serving alcohol. I don't see why they can't stay open. That just says it all, really. I mean, I do have agreed with most of what the first minister has done up to this point. I just don't think this is right, and I think he's destroying a lot of people's livelihoods this time. I agreed with it, the f you know most of what he's done, but uh, I'm not too sure about this. But I wouldn't want his job, so... I really wouldn't, so I don't envy him, because he's damned if he... whatever he does. He's damned if he does, and he's damned if he don't. So... Looking forward to uh, Christmas, as I'm sure you all are. I've got loads to do. But again, that's another reason why we've got a few days off coming up. We're not spending a fortune on each other this year. Um, I'm still waiting on Paul to give me some ideas. I usually get him some aftershave, so you'll just have that at this rate. And I've ordered him the new Paul McCartney CD, but that's been delayed. Hopefully I'll still get it before Christmas. I'm sure there's something else he'll want, but and we've got CDs we've given, been given, or have given each other that we haven't listened to, and this was a couple of years ago. Every now and again, I think, oh, we haven't listened to that. Let's put it on. <laughs> We're terrible. It's just because now it's we have to do. Well, we don't have to, but Jennifer pretty much controls the TV. Though she's starting to learn she can't always have her way. I was getting a bed and she was going, no, 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 no. And I'm going, yes, 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 yes. It's game. As soon as she had her pyjamas on, she went, bed! And up, up she went. Good as gold. So she she knows. She knows. She's a good girl. Hopefully she won't, get, won't want to get up too early, because all week, when I've had to get her up, she, especially the last two days, she's been really dopey. Normally she has a sleep on a, a Friday afternoon, and today she didn't. She didn't want one. So, she's absolutely exhausted. You can tell when she's tired, she gets really silly. <coughs> so I actually think that she um, is might sleep later tomorrow. She might not. But I'm hoping she will, so... Um... I've got some more pipettes downstairs. I'll just have to go and find them. I've got a ton of them. I bought, bought a packet. I think they were 25. And I originally bought them for my photography because of... Um, need one for the um, wash. Um, Kodak solution is called Photoflow. I use the Ilford Ilfotel. It's just a little bubble solution you put in. Um, breaks the surface tension on, on the film so you don't get streaks or, or marks when you um, hang the film up to dry, allegedly. Sometimes you still get a few but you don't get as many so it's very good. Um, but you only need to use one or two drips of, uh, of it, well not even one or two, it's one drip will do. But they, the bottles don't come with a pipette built in and I think that would be a great idea. Probably put the cost up too much though. Now I'm having trouble getting enough water out. This is the problem. Like I said, I'll have to um, um, uh, get some 
the phone to the pipettes. I've got a pack. I think I put them in a drawer downstairs somewhere. They're, they're around. I'll find them. They were only cheap. If not, I'll just order some more. They're cheap enough. So yeah, I'm liking the way this is looking. It looks like a rough sack. It's got the hessian lines on it almost, so or burlap. Yeah. So it's looking okay. I wish they'd do a Wizard of Oz one. Um, they've done an Alice special. I'm not a big Alice in Wonderland fan. I know there's a lot of fans out there and I totally get it. If you love it, that's fine. But for me, I much prefer the Wizard of Oz. It's just the way I, do, I am. I just prefer it. It's... I guess it's because it's got Judy Garland in the film version, so... Yeah, his hat's nearly dry. I'll be able to do that later. Like I said, it's all about experimentation. That's all it is. We're experimenting and using different mediums on <coughs> different pictures and different techniques and, and you know, and there's no point in just doing the same thing all the time. It gets boring. I mean, I love doing my patterns, but I, I do. I really love them. But if I just did patterns, I'd get bored very, very quickly because they, although they're great, you can get very, you can get, you know, fatigued. So. I think I will do his boots and his belt today. And then I'll leave excuse me, the rest of it until next time just because I don't really want to do the patches on his bag because his bag is wet so I'll do his boots first and then move up so we'll do a lot on a lot of black on his soles Can hear Paul laughing. <laughs> Do apologise for the noise. And they're not so dark on his boots. I will admit my hands are starting to ache a little bit now but they always do when you're using so much pencil but I am liking this I love this it's looking lovely like I said his hat needs redoing I'll probably do that soon maybe before the next video I don't know or I might do it literally just before the next video because um yeah, there we are. That's one. Let's put a bit more in there. Again, we'll do this quite dark. So yeah, 
looking forward to Christmas even though it's going to be different because obviously my brother Chris isn't coming home because he's in New Zealand and he can't get back. Uh, we've taken five or six different flights and the cost on return of isolating would be too much so costing like three thousand dollars just a lot of money so he will be spending Christmas with um, our other brother and my other brother's wife Claire hello Claire if you're watching say hello in the comments <laughs> you like my father Christmas we wish you could come over soon we know you because they were supposed to come over in the summer and obviously didn't so hopefully next year will be the year you can come and visit I hope so because we miss you we miss you lots so it would be nice to see you next year if you can get here please Please, please come home. So let's do his boots. There we are, looks nice. This stuff does dissolve very nicely. It does take the water. You don't get a lot of pencil streaks left when you go in, even if you press hard. You really don't. And look, look at the difference where I've put it on thicker to where I put it on just that little bit lighter so that it, you can see that there's the soles and There we go. Looking good. I'm liking this. Paul's just finished zooming with Hannah. Oh, she's so nice, that girl. So, we'll be coming up to bed, I expect. I'm in the spare room doing this, so it's fine. He's not going to interrupt us. He might want to come in. And then I'll just pause. So, so we're actually at 42 minutes now. So, yeah, I will just finish off these boots. Then I'll call it a day. I might redo his hat tonight. I might not because I'm going to have to really wash this brush out because I've just used black. I don't want to blacken his hat. He'll look like a chimney sweep instead of Santa. Mind you, Santa does go down the chimney, doesn't he? Our oh, Father Christmas. Because Jennifer watches all these American YouTubers and she goes, Santi, Santa. Or even Santa and it's getting a bit close to Satan for my liking. <laughs> But yeah, she she's, doesn't really know who he is yet, but it is getting there. So um, I said, you can only watch Santa up until Christmas. After Christmas, he goes away for a long rest. Well, he has rest for a couple of months and then he starts getting ready for the next season. There we go. So that's that. <coughs> and I do need to go and find my inhaler as well. So. I'm going to call it a day. Let's zoom out. So here is our Santa so far as you can see his, his hat is a little bit pale but we can sort that out. Other than that I think he looks rather rather sweet. So I hope you enjoyed this colouring chat. We'll finish this off in the next picture. If you have please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and don't forget to hear them hit excuse me, the notification bell, so you're notified every time I make another video, because there will be lots more coming. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.